Folks, my name is Chris. Welcome back to the Modern Diver Channel. Today is April 14th, and we're gonna go diving with my buddy Adam. Not really much going on today. We're under lockdown here in Ontario, but we can still go to one of our local waterways as long as we're in a small group from no more than two households. So me and Adam are gonna go out to the scuba park today. We're gonna practice some decompression procedures and some stage handling. So I'm not gonna film a whole lot, but I figured I'll film it as a vlog style video so you guys can follow along and see what it looks like to go diving with Modern Diver. Um, first, we have to go to the shop. I'm gonna have to get some air fills. Uh, when I get to the dive site, I'm gonna have to set up some equipment. So I'll try to film a bit of that and yeah. Follow along and let's see how it goes. guys we are now at the well and scuba park i apologize about the audio here i didn't realize that the microphone for my computer is crap so i'm definitely going to get myself a better microphone for these kind of projects in the future but yeah this is the well and scuba park adam beat us here so he's already started assembling some of his gear uh i like to come here quite often this is a great spot for training and i meant as I mentioned today, me and Adam are here to work on some decompression procedures. So we're just going to simulate some decompression with two stage bottles. So I already had the one of them hooked up because uh, it, uh, it was already full of air. I didn't need to get it filled. But my aluminum 40, I had to fill when we were at the dive shop. So now that we're on the site, I'm going to install my stage regulator to the stage bottle, stow the hoses, and yeah. So for those of you who don't know, so I am a certified decompression diver. I have right now my Heliox and Tech Diver 1 training, so which means I'm certified to dive down to 150 feet. I am in the middle of my hypoxic trimix training level 1, so that will allow me to dive down to 240. And this is where we really start to work with two stage bottles. Adam is a Tech 1 diver, but he is going to jump on the next hypoxic trimix course that we offer. So... He's also learning how to do this, and this is why we're kind of coming out here today to just practice with two stages. Uh, if you've never worked with two stage bottles before, it's actually quite tricky, and uh, this is by no means going to be a tutorial on how to use these in the water. As I mentioned, me and Adam are here really just to practice. So yeah, let's see how it goes. So the last week or so, me and Adam have come out to do this already a couple days. However, I was having some issues with my dry gloves. With my new dry gloves I got at the end of last year, I found my finger was slipping off of the bolt snap, so today I'm actually going to switch to using wetsuit gloves. So I'm diving a rental DUI dry suit because I'm still waiting for my new suit to arrive, but uh, one of the nice things about the DUI suits is they have these zip seals. So it's a, basically it's like a Ziploc bag, so you've got this user changeable seal that you can quickly zip into the suit. And it's really nice. So I just took off my Kugi dry glove rings. I'm installing just a simple latex wrist seal and I'm gonna do this dive in a wetsuit glove. So we'll see if it makes it any easier. The other thing I have to do is I charged my canister light last night. So I have to reattach that to my harness here. So that's pretty simple. One of these days I have to do a video on um, how I set up my plate and my accessories, but basically my canister light just slides on to the right side of my waist strap and I use a buckle to secure it in place and a bolt snap, double end bolt snap to clip it to my shoulder. So pretty simple. Once I have that all set, I'm just making sure that none of my hoses are twisted. I'm going to lift up my tanks here, turn them on, pressurize it, make sure I don't hear any sort of leaks. I also have to do a breathing test as well to make sure that uh, everything is breathing properly and accordingly. This time of year, it's starting to be warm out, so we're able to do this prior to our dive. When it's actually really cold out, sometimes you have to avoid um, using your regs on the surface too much because it makes them very cold and it can actually increase the chances of getting a free flow. But it was about 15 Celsius today and the water is pretty warm as well. It, it's getting close to about 45 Fahrenheit. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember what that is in Celsius, maybe like 8 Celsius or so. So now that I've got a lot of my pre-dive prep done, 
The next thing we're going to do is put our suits on halfway, and then we will talk about the final steps of our dive planning to then get ready to go into the water. So I'll speed this up a bit, but let me get geared up. good until the wind goes. Do you want to put it behind your ski The uh, Yeah, let me change that a bit. <laughs> there we go. So, that, that's more stable. Uh -huh. I was doing, I was starting at 30, doing a switch at 30, so I was basically on the bottom almost. So okay. I was doing my switch to 50 and then taking the, fifth, well, the, the stage up to 20, doing my switch at 20 just to get more of a kind of live feel of what the water would be like instead of 20 and 10 where mm -hmm. you wouldn't really be switching at 10. But it's up to you. Switch, we could switch. We could do... We switch could, at 20, switch at 10? Switch at 20, switch at 10. Okay, so we'll just do... Uses, yeah. And do you want to do two spin and stops? Two minute stops. Let's do two. Two minute stops? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll do that once. We'll see how that feels. If it feels rusty, then we'll, we'll do it over again. We'll go down we'll do the second time. See how that goes and aim for a 60 plus minute dive. I'm in wet gloves, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure my hands will be warm enough to win those KO ones, but yeah, um, well, that was good the other day for over You did like eight, yeah. 70 minutes or 80 minutes? 85. Perfect. Sweet. So there we go. It's finally time to start diving. So we're going to throw our gear on the rest of the way and work our way down to the water. If you didn't catch it, basically the plan is we are going to get our gear on, we're going to get in the water, we're going to swim over to the platform. Uh, which isn't that far of a swim. It only takes us maybe about five or six minutes. And then when we get to the platform, Adam's going to send up an SMB. We're going to spend the first half of the dive practicing skills and working on our own. And then for the second half of the dive, we are going to do some simulated decompression. So we're going to go up to 20 feet, do a gas change, do a two minute stop. We're going to then go up to 10 feet, do a gas change, do a two minute stop. And we're going to see how it goes. If it goes rough, then we might try it a couple times. And yeah, basically we're just here to practice some skills.
often asked me why I think the DUI zip seals are the best, and this is why. Basically, me and Adam just went to get into the water, but my first zip seal actually ripped as soon as it hit the water. So uh, it doesn't surprise me the seal's quite old. It's been on lots of dives, but the benefit of the DUI zip seals is I was able to just pop this off, and I had a spare wrist seal in my bag, and I put it on, and I'm going to be back in the water. So I've only been out of the water now for less than a couple minutes, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I like DUI zip seals. So since I had my wrist seal issue, Adam actually came down to the platform before me. So he was just sitting here working on his neutral buoyancy. But yeah, this is our training platform. It's nothing too impressive, but it works. It gets the job done. And just as I was getting ready to get in position to start working on my own skills, I realized there was a freshwater crayfish crawling around beneath us. And it looks like this poor little guy only has one arm. But that's okay. I'm pretty sure they do grow back. So I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so now that we're here, it's time to work on some skills. So one of the first skills I wanted to practice a bit was getting used to removing and reattaching my stage bottles. So if you've never worked with stages before, just like um, in diving in general, when you pick up something heavy, it's going to cause you to become negatively buoyant. So you need to offset that with adding air to your wing and vice versa, when you go to remove it, it actually starts to make you buoyant. So here, I've taken off both my stage bottles. I'm reestablishing my neutral buoyancy. I'm getting comfortable. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to put them on. So I'm first going to start with my aluminum 40. This would normally be like my 100% oxygen. So I would keep it on um, my left side closest to me. Um, it's always interesting watching yourself on video because you kind of pick yourself apart. And I've mentioned before, this is not a tutorial by any means. This is, uh, it actually kind of hurts to watch this. So. My reg's a little sloppy on my pony bottle there, the 40, and uh, this 80 is, I'm also having a bit of issues kind of getting this clipped off, but that's why we're here to practice, right? Um, but it's good to see myself under the wa underwater because I can look at what I need to tighten up, what I need to fix. Um, I'm pretty close to the camera, so my buoyancy looks a little worse than it is, but that uh, didn't go perfect. And now the next thing I'm going to do is the actual gas switch. So... I have the camera positioned in front of me. I'm turning on my aluminum 80, which would be like my 50% uh, decompression mix. I'm double checking my position in the water. I'm turning on the cylinder. I've signaled to my dive buddy to watch me do a gas change. I'm going to remove my primary reg, clip it to my shoulder. I am then going to back thin myself out so I don't accidentally run into the camera. Um, I've only recently set up this particular harness for technical diving in my dry suit. So a couple things that I've noticed from watching these videos and doing this dive is I need to readjust my D-rings. So especially my right shoulder D-ring, I believe is a bit low. I had a hard time clipping to it a few times. Um, I also need to readjust my left hip D-ring. Um, I find my 40s hanging a bit low, whereas my 80 is hanging a bit more as I would expect it. However, the, the pressure is a bit different in them. So that can also make a play as a cylinder has more air in it, it becomes more negatively buoyant and a cylinder that is less air in it uh, can become more buoyant and positively buoyant. So 
Um, now that I've done my gas switch and I've switched back to my primary gas, I am now going to flip the bottle around and stow it. Um, but you can see here I actually got the first stage caught on my uh, low pressure inflator as well as caught on the first stage of my aluminum 40. So yeah, definitely wasn't smooth by any means, but this is why we're here, right? We came out to practice and looking at this video shows me that I've got quite a bit of stuff to work on. So I practiced this a few more times off camera and once I felt ready to give the decompression procedures a try, I went to look for Adam and it looked like he was already above me practicing hovering in midwater. So I got his attention and we got ready to run our deco procedures. So he hadn't had a chance to send up the SMB yet. So at this point he was going to send up the SMB, tie it to the platform and that way we have a visual ascent line. And when we get to the surface, we can always swim back to the float on the surface and make our way back down to the platform. Now, the only downside was right about now, I got a low battery warning and boom, my camera died. Woo, well there we go guys, that was a good dive. I came up a little bit earlier than Adam. He's still in the water. If I flip, uh, you can see him there on his deco stop with the SMB. I came up a little bit early. I, uh, as you guys know, I flooded my my wrist before we went in, so I'm uh, pretty wet from the wrist all the way to my shoulder. I changed out the wrist seal, so I didn't leak when we went back in the water, but I was still leak or I was still wet from when I leaked originally. But overall, it was a good dive. Uh, the camera died unfortunately just before we started doing our deco procedures, but I did record myself uh, doing some skills there on the platform, so I'll be able to throw those into the video. But overall, it was a pretty good day. Again. Uh, Nothing really too special today. It was just a chance for us to come out and practice some skills. And this is a new type of uh, content for the channel. I've never done one of these uh, vlog style dive day videos. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.